Let me talk a little bit about the history of the net. We've been doing this for many years now, uh, and we get together here on Wednesday evenings as a public service for those who are working on the restoration of vintage radios, vacuum tube uh, transmitters, and the early efforts at uh, creating single sideband from the days from way back there when there was nothing but CW and AM on the amateur bands. And I'm on one of those efforts right now. This is a Central Electronics 20A from the mid-1950s. Uh, and uh, it's putting out about uh, 10 watts into a uh, little amplifier I made out of four 6DQ5s, grid-driven. And I usually get 100 watts more out of them than I'm getting tonight, but uh, folks seem to be hearing me, so we'll uh, not rock the boat. Buy-sell trades are appropriate if they're vintage radio-related. I've got about uh, 15 Ermies here, and I'm going to talk uh, to maybe about uh, half of those, and we'll give it to Jay. And uh, let's try again. Rusty, uh, KK5, HK. Rusty, are you there somewhere? k 5 lym Well, this is wk 5 or I'm here, Lynn. Go ahead. Okay, you're here. Yeah, you and I are going to be talking about power supply boards. You're doing some really nice work there. Okay, let's talk to some check-ins here. Uh, WA5EDX. Hey, Byron, are you here? k 5 lym Byron hadn't gone far. Uh, how about uh, N5JJI? Ed, are you here? I am here. Thank you, Lynn. Talk to I'm, us. I'm uh, working on some new equipment tonight. I got my uh, HW101 fired up. I'm using a Shure 505 hand mic into an SB201 uh, Dentron watt meter and out to an inverted V at about 50 feet. And I'm just pleased as punch to be able to have it on the air. Well, you did nice work. What all did you have to do to it to get it running? Well, I, I, I picked up the radio a couple of years ago, and I went through it and, and changed some of the capacitors and uh, and cleaned up all the tube sockets and that sort of thing. And, and uh, then uh, Saturday, thanks to Sammy, I got uh, this old microphone that uh, seems to agree with it real well. So I'm on the air. Yeah, you sure are. The radio's doing great. The audio might have more highs in it than we're used to hearing from you. What microphone is it? It is a Shure 505C hand mic. Okay, I don't know anything about it, but it's working fine. But it, uh, it, it, the audio is clear, crisp. I like it just fine. A little bit more highs than we're used to hearing. It's doing fine. And nice work on your part. Any, uh, any new uh, projects above and beyond that you want to tell us about tonight? Well, mostly antenna projects. Uh, I wanted, I've, I've noticed, and uh, you all may be interested, but 10 meters has been open into New Zealand and India, Indonesia and uh, uh, South America uh, the last few nights, and that's been a lot of fun. Oh, 10 is really fun. I haven't been up there. I've been on 20 some, but I haven't been to 10, so thanks for uh, pointing that out. All right, Ed, anything else for the group this evening? Not from New Bronzeville, 73's around, N5 JJI. Very nice work on your part there. Okay, okay I'm going to back up here. Let me see if my friend that I had lunch with is still hanging out here. Hey, D-Roy, what about it? You over there somewhere? AA5R, K5LYN. Well, he was here earlier. Maybe he moved on. How about Byron, EDX? Byron? We're going to have to keep a, a list of pending people. KE5Q. Hey, Jim, I know you're there. Yeah, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> K5LYN. In the net, KE5Q, uh, Jim in Plano. And uh, sure good seeing everybody in Belton last week. We had a great time. Uh, Thursday through Saturday. Anyway, tonight I am uh, on a near boat anchor. Uh, actually, it's not a boat anchor. But it is a SB-104 Alpha, SB-104 Alpha. But it is driving a boat anchor, the old SB-200 that I built when I was in college a long time ago. And that's going into the Ultimax 8040, and I'm using a Sure 444. 444. So that's what we're using here. Appreciate you calling the net. Uh, K5LYN. K-E-5-Q. Well done, sir. Nicely done. Rocking and rolling into Austin, Texas tonight. WW9W. Hey, Robert, how about it? All right. K5LYN. Andy Bodak. Hello, man. Good to see you. Ted Belton, Jay. As always, job well done over there on the, on the smoker. And Rusty, you're right, man. He had some beautiful power supplies that he uh, built up there. Very neat. Great job, Rusty. Uh, I'm only caught up 
on that KWM2 with the uh, 3001 and the Shure 522 with the 444 element in the uh, in the microphone here. Looks like about, uh, I don't know, about 700 watts coming from the 301 into my Ultimac 8040, same one Jim's running over there. The 8040 Ultimac double bazooka. As I said, man, it was good seeing you guys down there. We had a great time. Sold a few items. And like I said, had a great time. All righty. Appreciate you. You guys take care and have a good evening. And we'll see you next Wednesday. K5LYN and the boat anchors, WW9W. Outstanding, Robert. And I enjoyed crossing paths with you at uh, breakfast that morning, Saturday. You know, that was pretty neat that the uh, motel got their... Uh, Got their breakfast laid out at 5.45 in the morning, which is kind of setting a record for a hotel breakfast buffet, you know. And I was really pleased it was ready when I got uh, down there and ready to go because I wanted to get to that parking lot. All right, Robert, anything else for the net this evening? Negative. We enjoyed having breakfast with you, too, man. I forgot about that. No, that's it for me, Roger. Okay, we'll catch you next go-round. Okay, Mr. DPP, Sammy, you want to talk to us tonight? How about it? Well, good evening there, Lynn. Anybody on the net there, it's W5DPP. Well, not much happening here. Had a good time in Belton. Still trying to get caught up on the on the rifts there. It seems like I, every time I sit here and uh, not do anything, I fall asleep. So, uh, And I did finally get a nap after you be it interrupted a time or two on the phone. So uh, I got a little bit of a nap anyway. So... Had a good time. Looking forward to the next uh, next belt in there. Got a few other ham fests coming up. I'm not trying to make some of those, so don't have uh, much else here. here. Uh, k 5 lynw 5 dp All right, Sammy. Yeah, it was a great time. Had a lot of fun, but uh, the the sun <laughs> the sun was a little bit more than I wanted to uh, put up with that day. But other than that, we did great. All right, WB1E. Hey, Doug, talk to us. K5LYN. Yeah, hello, Lynn, and everybody here on the Boat Anchors Net. This is Doug, <clears throat> excuse me, WB1E over here outside of Reliance uh, in the outskirts of Bryan, yeah, Texas. And so, yeah, on the uh, Swan 500 tonight with the Electric Voice 638 uh, going up uh, to a homemade, uh, oh, via RG213. Oh, Jay likes when it said that. <laughs> up to a homemade 4 to 1 ballon on a, a DX Engineering 14 game. Insulated and stranded inverted V. Uh, tuned for this frequency, by the way. Uh, but yeah, uh, Belton, man, I tell you, it's getting better and better every year. It was so great seeing all of y'all. And, uh, and, and Jay, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, Jay, I mean, Lynn, uh, that's why I put up all those pop ups over there uh, and throw out a couple extra chairs. So uh, you're always invited to come over. But yeah, I did see a, a lot of uh, parking lot uh, uh, bacon and roasting going on so in the sun and I know that wind wasn't any fun either well the wind in the sun it's rough turn it back to you awesome uh, job tonight you guys and uh, look forward to doing it again next week so this is WB1E back back to net yeah very good Doug yeah I parked uh, at an angle such that the tailgate of my sport utility vehicle should have given me more shade than it did but as, as bad as the sun was uh, I was already sweating it before uh, before the sun got on the other side of that tailgate, you know, so the pop-up might have been a better deal. We'll uh, think about it next go-round. Good to hear you. All right, KC5L. Hey, Tom, what's going on in San Antonio? K5L, Wyan. Hey, good evening, Lynn, and the Bone Anchors Net. This is Tom, KC5L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight uh, we're talking on the Central Electronics 200B uh, with the D104 microphone, uh, driving the Central Electronics 600L amplifier. Doing about uh, 300 watts into a Johnson KW Matchbox and a Hellbrew Dublin of about uh, 15 feet or so. And we're listening on the R390A. Uh, Enjoy our visit in Belton and uh, uh, had a good time there and uh, uh, looking forward to uh, the next, uh, looking forward to October. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, Lynn, uh, I finally nailed. The uh, fan noise problem in the 200B, I put a 1.5 microfarad ceiling fan capacitor in series with the fan motor, and it now does not make any noise whatsoever. So glad to have finally got that, uh, that problem licked. 
Uh, that's all I have here, Lynn. Uh, back to you, KC5L. Okay, John. Well, you've uh, made a contribution to Central Electronics lore there, so uh, nicely done. And uh, I guess we've got your screen on my 28. What's it look like tonight? Uh, any any uh, thoughts you want to share with me? Over. Oh, it sounds great as usual. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see it on the screen, but I can. But the audio is great, and it sounds right on frequency. Over. Okay, that'll work. All right, well, uh, you've uh, made good use of your uh, tools down there and shared them with us now and again, and I always appreciate it. And your uh, central electronic station is absolutely beautiful tonight. Okay, neighbor, TX Store, TXW, George, talk to us. Oh, Lynn, and all around the net from WB5TXW for the finest hour of amateur radio for the week. You're creating a new contraction, a combination of a call sign and next door. Very good. Uh, in any event, I'm on the S line 32, S175, S330L1. Everything is, seems to be working still. Sure, 444 microphone and the usual antenna out in the woods to the side of the house. Over. You know, what I say about your station, George, which sounds excellent tonight, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, work we've done on that has been kind of one of those Austin onward through the fog uh, kind of expeditions, and it's worked over and over again. Over. Right. Well, it keeps on working. I'm never going to get rid of it. I uh, enjoy this radio, and, you know, I'm not one to get a new radio every other time I change underwear. So that's it. This is WB5TXW back to net. Okay, I'm going to talk to OJB Denver, then I'm going to call AA5R one more time, then I'll give it to you, Jay, and I'll tell you who I got remaining on the list. Hey, OJB, bring us this uh, news from Gonzales, K5LYN. Okay, K5LYN, N5 OJB Denver in Gonzales, Texas, and I'm talking to you tonight on a 32S1 and uh, uh, listening on a 75S1 uh, into a, a homemade fan dipole. It looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa out there on that tower. i got to get that fixed. But other than that, everything's all right. And uh, I'm using a Sure 444 back microphone. And I'm driving tonight. I'm still driving the Temperton. I, I got to get this uh, uh, other one tuned up for here. I, I tuned it on 40 and I just have, I have been too lazy to retune it down here. Uh, but uh, everybody sounds great and I've enjoyed I've uh, been sick all week long. I didn't know if I was going to get on here tonight or not. Got a stomach virus going around here, and it is a booger bear. Uh, but anyway and anyhow, y'all all have a good one. N5 OJB on the side. And uh, back to you, Lynn. You sound good, Denver, and your Collins S line sounds just as good as George's. Uh, y'all have done some nice work there. All right, AA5R. Hey, D Roy, you there? Okay, I guess he moved on. Okay, I think I'm done here. Let's see what I've got. Uh, Jay, I've got uh, CXG Bob, WLF Jimmy, XP Kenneth, OZ Dan, and KL7CD Mike. Uh, and that's all I know about. Maybe others, but I missed them if they're not uh, on my list here. K5LYN, carry on. I'll be here. Okay, Lynn. Well, I've got a couple more, um, uh, or at least one more anyway. Uh, I picked up Rick from down in the valley just a while ago, so we'll uh, get started on what's left here and see what happens after that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I appreciate every one of y'all that we, well, appreciate all y'all that are participating, and especially all the ones that showed up at Belton and were uh, able to make it for all of us to have such a good time down there. It's always a good show. This was a great one, though, I think. I think. But, what do, you know, what, what do I know? <laughs> all right. Um, I'm running the Kenwood TS-820S. A, the receiver is an R820 hooked up in transceive, um, and then from there it goes to a Kenwood 922 amplifier, and everything after that is all homebrew. The feed line, the uh, antenna tuner, the antenna, and all that stuff. 160 meter dipole stretched out across the neighborhood. And nobody's complained yet. And that's what I got. So, about um, KC5 WLF. How about you, Jimmy? 
Hey, well, good evening to you, Jay. Uh, uh, you're sounding really good this evening. Right on target, too. Uh, if, if, if you can trust my uh, <laughs> uh, my uh, F, uh, FT uh, uh, 101 Zulu Delta. And the, they don't have one number after the dot there, so you can't really tell too good. <laughs> But I'm sticking on that and a D-104. The D-104 is amplified, but it's just barely cracked. It's barely, barely cracked open, and it works good that way. Uh, I've tried other microphones. It not seem to work as good as this one does on it, so I just got to leave it there. But uh, also I'm using an uh, 80-meter off-center fed dipole. And uh, it works good on 40. A number of the other bands, it's, it's just a good antenna. The uh, off-center fed is, in my definition. Uh, hearing some good signals out there. Everybody keep up the good work, and uh, we'll keep on talking on these old radios until, until uh, the EMS doctor comes along and takes care of everybody else's transistor. Good evening, everybody. This is KC5 WLF, Jimmy, in Cedar Park. Okay, Jimmy. Good deal. Oh, you sound fine. And, yeah, those, those old uh, amplified Ds can be used. If, like you say, you got to know what you're doing. If, if you turn them up too loud, it's uh, it won't be nice. <laughs> but, anyway, no, you're sounding fine this evening. So, thank you, sir, for checking in. And now we'll move to San Angelo, KA5. CXG, how about you, Bob? Okay. Hey, kind of CXG. <clears throat> Bob out here at San Angelo. Uh, running an 830, you know, the S830. It's a uh, good radio. I'm really enjoying it. And that's about it. Running through it through a tuner to a Android V. I do not have the app in line. I've got some bad connectors that have shown up in it. And incidentally, Jay, that fan will work perfectly when I get everything else straightened out. That fan will fit. It's just an ideal fit. So uh, everybody have a good week. Enjoying the net. And I'm uh, going to listen to the rest of it on the uh, R3A88 with the product detector. And it's sitting over here warming up. So we'll be doing that. Everybody have a good week. Catch you all for ka 5 CXG. Okay, Bob. Good deal. I thought that fan would fit right. The, according to the measurements you gave me, it looked like it'd be good. That's great. And it's pretty quiet, too. I sent you the quietest one I had, so uh, hopefully it'll be move plenty of air. All right. Um, Kenneth, AG5XP, your turn, sir. Well, thank you, Jay, for picking me up. I had a good time up there at Bowden. I enjoyed the barbecue and seeing everybody up there. Tonight we're on a helicopter HT32A transmitter going out the HT33A amplifier and receiving you on a old Kenwood TS530 Tango Sugar. And got it going through a Heath Kit 2040 tuner right through a homebrew G5 RV antenna. And that's what we got up here in Central Texas. AG5 XP, KM5QS. Back to you, Jay. Okay, Ken, that's a good deal. All righty. Well, we didn't get to shake your hand this time, Dan, but uh, uh, maybe next time. K A W O Z. Yeah, good evening, Jay. Thanks for sneaking me in here. Uh, this is Dan K W O Z in the middle of Houston, where the noise is continues, but I think it might be a little less tonight. The band must have changed. Something changed. Anyway. We're just talking on the same uh, same thing I had last week, a Kenwood 830, and I'm driving a uh, homebrew 313, it's about 1,200 watts, microphone's an MC50, and the antenna's a uh, inverted V up there about 42 feet, and uh, I wanted to say that uh, Ed, with his HW101, I think he said, that uh, that really sounded good. It was on frequency. It was great audio, crystal clear, and uh, yeah, he did a nice job of that. And then I was really shocked that Jim's Heath Kit uh, 104 there, because those things are hard to get going and hard to keep going. But, man, those two radios, they really were kicking butt, as they say tonight. It sounds great. 
And uh, that's about it from here. Uh, got all kinds of projects. You know, I went up to Sammy's today, so uh, <laughs> I'll be dreaming about all the new stuff he's got up there again. I tell you what, if someone gets a weekend or a day to uh, go see what a real ham shack looks like, take a drive up to Sammy's. There's be stuff there that you'll you'll never forget everything you see. Guaranteed. It's a lifetime experience. That's it from here. Thanks very much, Jay. KWOZ. Okay, Dan. Yes, sir. Well, I made it by his house, his place one time, and, and it was it was awesome then. I can't imagine what it looks like now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and he's always a good person. He, he, he seems to like company. He treats you right while you're there, so that's a good deal. Um, okay, Dan, thank you, sir, for checking in. Let me see. Rick, WD5 AD, WB5 ADC, what, whatever it is. Go ahead, Rick. This is Rick, WD586 in Harlingen, Texas, about 12 miles from the border of Mexico. And uh, today I'm on the, uh, again, the GSB 100 transmitter. And I'm running a D104 mic, and I'm going to ask you for your opinion on it. The audio, I hope the crystal's still good in it. Seems to be. The receiver's a Drake 2B. Collins 3001 amplifier, uh, running about uh, a little over 500 watts to an uh, inverted of about uh, 30 feet. Well, I don't hear anything wrong with the audio. Uh, you probably uh, just barely got that gain knob on that C104 crack. No, I, this is uh, an unamplified D104. Now I can get a little more gain here. I just cracked up the gain on the audio on the transmitter. Oh, no, that's okay. I, I thought you said it was amplified, and I was thinking, man, it sounds good for an amplified. <laughs> no, that's my mistake. Yeah, that's the amplified one sitting over here on the uh, Drake TR4. I've got a Shure 444D, which I had on this last time I talked to you, but uh, I just plugged this one in to see what it sounded like. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't sound bad. Um, it's uh, not. It's actually kind of pleasant to listen to. Anyway, thanks for checking in, Rick, and uh, good to hear you back in here again. And as long as the van holds up, we'll keep trying to do this. But uh, maybe one of these days we can get you to come to Belton. I'd really like to go. I have already made uh, plans, and there's no way I can get out of them because it involves the XYL. Okay. I understand. But no, no further comments. Oh yeah. Seven three. <laughs> okay, Rick. Thanks for checking in this evening. Well, maybe we'll see, we'll see you next week, hopefully. Okay. Last one on my list is KL seven CD. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, Jay. I'm here. Um, do I sound okay? Yeah. So as far as I can tell. Okay. Well, I had some issues earlier. Not sure exactly what I did to help them or fix them or whatever, but I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. Uh, anyway, I'll get her going like she always does eventually. So my name is Mike. I'm in New Braunfels, Texas, just north of San Antonio. I went to Belton. It was a great ham fest. Uh, lots of people there, lots of gear there. Weather was uh, cooperating, I'll say that. A little windy one day. Pretty sunny. I, I had a little burn on my face, not uh, not enough to peel, but it was a little bit red. Anyway, I had a great time, and it was uh, wonderful to see everybody there. I'm looking forward to the one in fall. It's coming pretty early for me because I'll be in Rio Dosa, New Mexico for the summer. And if I go next year in the fall, or this year in the fall, I'll have to uh, probably take an airplane flight. It's a long, long drive there and back from uh, from New Mexico. But we'll see. Anyway, tonight I'm on the old Helicrafters Twins HT44 transmitter, SX117 receiver, uh, receiver VFO controlling the entire station, matching speaker and power supply. That goes uh, to an SB220 by Heathkit, running about 700 watts tonight. 
and I feed ladder line out to a loop that loops up about uh, 30 feet on average out in my back at the back of my property. I got an acre here with lots of uh, live oaks, and that uh, helps put up a loop. The only thing about live oaks this time of year, they are dropping lots of leaves, and the next thing they'll be dropping those little yellow squiggly things. And uh, then we'll be okay till the acorns come in the in the fall. But right now it's uh, hurting my asthma, not asthma, but allergies pretty bad. Microphone's a D104, unamplified version. And I'll just say this about the D104. Every time I've gotten a D104 that was amplified, I just take the bottom out and pull all the amplifier components out and wire that mic element directly to uh, the cord line that goes to your transmitter, just like an unamplified one. And I, you don't need the amplification, I can tell you that. That's uh, crystal, if it's operating, it has more than an adequate output. Anyway, that's what's going on here, Jay. A little windy today. Nice and warm. I think 82 here was the high. And it looks like good weather for a day or two. Back to you, KL7 Charlie Delta. Okay, Mike. Yeah, it, uh, it was a little, a little windy and sunny down here today, too, but I stayed inside most of the day. I'm still, I'm, I got a little burn myself standing out there by that pit. Um, but anyway, yeah, well, what's the deal? I ain't going to complain. Nobody cares anyway. Even my, my wife, she says, well, you did it to yourself. Said, well, I guess I did. All right. Thank you, Mike. Well, that's all I have on my list. Um, Rusty, do you want to take a few and see what happens so I can rest my voice? WK5R, KM5QS. KM5QS, WK5R. <clears throat> Mighty fine there, Jay. Good evening, everybody. And this is WK5R, and you're listening to the... Boat Acres Unlimited. Why did I go blank then? I don't know why, but anyway, Boat Acres Unlimited. Boat Acres Unlimited in that. Boy, I skipped all over that one. And I'm on the usual stuff tonight with one exception. I'm on the Kingwood TS 590S, the Audio Technica microphone, and the uh, Homebrew Fan Dipole. <clears throat> but I'm running an amplifier that I picked up from uh, N0 Triple T in. Uh, Melton to repair for him. It's an AL88, had a broke man switch. Took me just slightly less than two hours to fix it. So she's running here at hello. I'm uh, between 750 and 800 watts right now. So if I'm due to deliver it back to you tomorrow, we're going to have a bunch uh, up there in the Dallas area t uh, tomorrow, and then I'll have to hook them back to the bus line. So uh, with that, who else is out there for the Bone Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Kilo, Charlie, Papa Kilo. Kilo, Charlie, 5, November, Papa Charlie. Okay, I got two. N5PF, I believe, was. Go ahead, Phil. Uh, good evening, everybody. This is November 5, Papa Foxtrot, Phil, located just east of the Mississippi River on I-20. Uh... Uh, I'm having trouble hearing tonight. I hear Jay real well. That's unusual. Uh, uh, Rusty's coming in pretty good, and Lynn a whole week. But I'm not hearing Rusty guys. Uh, we had a storm go here through here at 3:30, about 3:30 today. It cleared out about five, I guess it was. Uh, it's close enough that I hear every static crack. Uh, it sounds like it's next door. And, uh, wow, it, it's tough over here right now. Real tough. Anyway, I'm running a KWM2. I've got two S lines here, and they're both down. Uh, something's happened to both of them. So i got to send them to the shop. But KWM2 come in this morning from the shop, and it's running real good. Uh, I got a he, he, he get SB200. Put it up. Yeah. It says 600. Uh, that's about right. I got a uh, Howl microphone and an uh, inverted V at 45 feet. And uh, I had it all unplugged when that storm went through. Uh, it was unplugged outside. So I didn't have any problems. And uh, that's about it from here. It's all I can take. This is M5 PM. Back to Russell. Okay, Phil, and I don't know if I've heard that. I, I did get the, uh, the power 
supply that I'm going to use for parts that you sent me, and uh, I'll get on that here uh, pretty soon, get that put back, and so all built back up. So thank you for checking in there. Okay, uh, KC5, November Papa Foxtrot, I believe it is. Go ahead. Okay, here's Terry. It's uh, 
uh, get the light copy down here. The the noise is is kind of rough, but uh, we got you too. We got you in for the count and check down. So maybe it'll be better next week. Uh, okay. uh, back to you, Rusty. Did you get his rig, Jay? Did I what? Did you get his rig? Did, I'm sorry. Did I give what? Did he wants to know. Uh, Mike wants to know what rig he was on. No, I have not changed rigs. No, what rig the guy you were talking to was on. Oh, no, I, I didn't. Oh, well, you put unknown, Mike. <laughs> I'll throw out one more call, then I'll slip her back to uh, Lynn there, because I'm having a little bit of trouble here, and I think I might be closer to the static than y'all are down there. So, one more time, who else is out there for the Boat Actors Unlimited? Come now. Hey, Dave, you can me on a hundred watch, Rusty. Okay, who's that on a hundred watch? I caught that. Go ahead. That's Mike, WA5MTT. Oh, go ahead, Mike. Okay, sorry. I'm just I'm just on the uh, Rockwell Collins uh, KWM uh, uh, 380 tonight and on the uh, Electrovoid 664 microphone. So just running barefoot here. Well, I'm just in here for the count, Rusty. All right, Mike. I caught everything you said there. Uh, you can't say it just fine. No 380 sounds pretty good there. I appreciate you checking in. Okay. Is there anybody else out there before I send it back to Lynn? Wants to check in on the Boat Anchors Unlimited. Come now. W9BM. W9BM. I hear you good. Go ahead. Uh, good evening. Name here is Jim Jake Ida Mike. And I thought I'd check in so you had a Tintec rig uh, in the uh, mix here. It's an old Omni D. I think it's Series A. It's uh, near as I can tell from the Tintec schematics. Uh, running barefoot, about uh, 100 watts out, and the antenna is a full wave loop. The antenna is a, um, a Sure 444, and uh, the band is really noisy. Anyway, uh, just checking in, nothing uh, nothing new here at OE9BM. Okay, Jim, where are you located? I'm sorry, uh, Georgetown, Texas, about uh, 20 miles north of uh, Austin, uh, along 35, go ahead. Oh, Roger, know right where that's at. All right, well, <laughs> you kind of threw me a little bit there with the nine call. Uh, I thought I was reaching way on out there, but apparently not. But you are loud with what you're running there. Appreciate you checking in. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time before it turns to land. Anybody else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. No, I think I've run my string there, Lynn. K5LYN, WK5R. Take her away. Well, let's see if I'm on the air, Rusty. How's my frequency? K5LYN. Put some glue on it. You're good. Go ahead. All right. Let me call W9VM, uh, Jim in Georgetown. I'm in Austin. you got a great signal here. Over. Yeah, good evening, Dan. Um... I'm the guy that bought one of the HW100 from you uh, back in October uh, at Belton. Go ahead. Okay, it wasn't me. <laughs> it was somebody else. Yeah, K5LYN. My name is Lynn. But uh, we must have crossed paths sooner or later somewhere. But I just want to let you know you got a great uh, signal into Austin that uh, that radio's working tonight. And you're pecking the, uh, pegging the S meter up here in Georgetown. I'm sorry, Lynn. I uh, confused you with uh, Dan down in Houston. Seven three. Thanks for the report. W9BM. Yeah, I'm sure we've crossed paths sooner or later somewhere in there. But uh, man, the skip between you and I in Georgetown on a noisy night is terrific. All right, uh, let's see if there's anybody else there out there hearing me on this noisy night on the Central Electronics 20A from the year 1957. Who's out there? K5LYM. Listening. Inside DPT, reach it. Uh, Sammy, talk to me. All right, well, I was at the, uh, the ham fest there. There's, uh, there was a Central Electronics VFO that was out on the, on the table over there, I think. Phil had it and uh, he left it outside hoping somebody would steal it during the night, and nobody stole it. So uh, I ended up getting it. If anybody has a use for it, let me know, and they, it could be there, sir. W5DPP. Okay, yeah, that's the one that's got the Central Electronics front panel on it, doesn't it? Uh, I guess so, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a nice find, Sammy. Okay, W5DPP's got one of the uh, uh, converted BC458 uh, VFOs for these early central electronics exciters like what I'm using here right now. So you can look up W5DPP on QRZ.com. All right, who else for the net tonight? K5LYN, listening. W5EDX. EDX. Hey, Byron, I called you first a while ago. Uh, you were down the hall. Talk to us. Yeah, down the hall, out of the shack, went in the house. Uh, this is Byron, W5EDX in beautiful Bluffdale, Texas. Tonight we're on uh, an old uh, Kenwood 520S you might recognize, Lynn. It's uh, got it from you at Melton last weekend. Hi. And according to the literature, I believe you told me it originally belonged to W5SFM. SFM. And that was uh, Al, I believe you said. Is that right? Al and Wimberly, yes. Okie doke. Well, it seems to be doing well. I am barefoot, as usual. And uh, talking on a D104 mic uh, tonight on it and into the old standard inverted V. So that's all there is tonight. Man, it's kind of screwy. Some people are loud. Some people are a little weak. But the skip is kind of kind of odd. So uh, just say hi to everybody. Of course, I had a good time with everybody else. Enjoyed meeting some uh, new friends and uh, seeing the old ones. And uh, I don't know if anybody's got the date on the on the next uh, October melt. And I guess it's still the first weekend. Uh, I guess it's uh, set for the first weekend in October. But somebody tell me so I can uh, put it on the calendar. Back to you, Lynn. WA5 EDX. Uh, Jay, you want to clarify the Belton date for him? Uh, yeah. Saturday, October the 1st uh, is the actual date, which means the last two days in September will be when, when we're having all the fun in the parking lot. Okay, okay. Jay. Hey, I got a question for you while you're in there. Uh, yeah. The top case on that Parts 830 you gave me, the top case is for an 820, and uh, I know you said you had 820s. You may want that 820 uh, top case back. Well, um, if you don't find a use for it before next time, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought they, the way they were sitting in the trailer, of course, I didn't try to bolt them down, so I didn't pay that much attention to them, Roger. Yeah, well, I don't know. It may fit mechanically. Uh, it may fit mechanically. I uh, didn't try it. I've never tried it. The five, the 830 and 530 top cases have vents all along the back, a big vented area. So if you uh, if you have a 530 top case, I'll, I'll trade you out. Hi, hi. But the 820 case has vents all just vents along the left side. And then a 520 has no vents at all at the top case. So everybody got a free education tonight. Hi, hi, over. <laughs> okay. Well, if I remember right, it does have what looks like a good speaker there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, good deal. Well, I'm glad that uh, uh, glad that I was able to find that thing for you. So, anyway, um, yeah, I've got an 820. So any parts that uh, uh, it never hurts to have spare parts. You no, know, it's not what my wife thinks, but you know how that goes. Anyway, <laughs> KF5QS. Okay. Hey, Byron. Yeah, man. That, uh, that thing is really sounding good. I think uh, uh, KE5Q said something about coming down to Austin here pretty soon before he goes to South America. You want me to send him back with that uh, extra 520 that goes with that one right there? Uh, yeah, you might as well. I'll probably see him up here uh, in uh, North Texas before Belton. Okay. Well, I haven't asked him if he can handle it, <laughs> but we'll get around to that. Yeah, that radio is working out pretty good. Uh, it's talking up the storm. I guess it's into an amplifier. Oh, negative. I don't run amplifiers. Well, you don't need to. <laughs> it's, you know, it worked for Al pretty well. Al talked to us on it for many months, and it's uh, doing the same job for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's a keeper. Maybe I'll put new dial lamps in it so I can run it at night. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was the one thing it needed that I noticed when I had it on here. All right, who else for the boat anchors tonight? K5LYN in Austin on the Central Electronics 28. Okay, Jeff, if you can send me an email, send me an email about when you want to do it, that works for me. And hey, if you're on the road to West Texas right now, when do you get a night's sleep, over? I'll get a night's sleep tonight when I get there. All right. Well, be careful on the road. You're sounding good, over. Thanks a lot, Lee. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, thanks to Fred. I got a couple of transistors from him, K5IAM, and I put them in this old, old, what may be the original number one Horsemore amplifier, T transistor, solid state, broadband, no tune, and uh, it's working like the very first Horsemore I ever had. We're getting about 400 watts out here on 75, laying over. Okay, Jeff, it's a really no no noisy night. I, I got 75, 80% of that, but I missed a little bit, so I better not get too long drawn out here, over. Roger, Roger, have fun with it. That's your 5 0 mobile Marble, Kerrville, home of the Kerrbergs. All right, be careful on the road. Who else for the boat anchors tonight? K5 LYN, listening. Recheck. Recheck, go ahead. Hey, Lynn, Kilo Charlie 5, November Pop Charlie S. Jeff, if he's coming to San Angelo, over. Yeah, you're hearing him too, huh? Hubert, over. Are you doubled? I don't think so, Hubert. Oh, well, okay. Maybe next time. Uh, anyway, Lynn, did you get to check uh, 85 XP and Kenny tonight? Uh, say again, Hubert. Did you get to check Kenny in AG5 XP over? Yeah, yeah, we did. We, uh, we got Kenneth quite a while ago. Yeah, wasn't he loud over? Say again? Wasn't he loud over? Oh, he has always got a great signal. <laughs> right, right. All right, so I miss you guys in Milton. Maybe next time. You know, Charlie 5, November, Papa Charlie 7 3. Yeah, we've talked to Kenneth enough time, AG5XP, that he knows he's a great engineer when it comes to these vacuum tube uh, radios here. All right, who else for the net? K5LYN, listening. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to hear you. Try it one more time. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just too noisy for me here in Austin. Uh, anybody pick up that person? Uh, Whiskey Alpha 5 Station, try it again. Hey, Jay, this is Whiskey Alpha 5. I was crew for five. OPZ, WA5OPZ. Go ahead, sir. Sir, I just seen the, uh, we're right in the, the old fashioned swan here. And that was uh, pushing us through a sure 17 uh, microphone. Got a 1200 X amplifier, uh, monitor app that was 312B4 Collins, the G5 RC, and out uh, in the backyard. Uh, good to hear everybody. All right, uh, Swan Amplifier and uh, SP200, is that what you're running? I'm running a, a, a 270B. Oh, a Swan 2, okay. Uh, two, dang it, 217, I think. It's pretty tough copy. Uh, but you're going to Swan Radio and an SP200, is that correct? And, uh, I'm, I'm running a Swan 270B transmitter. Uh, transceiver and a uh, Swan 1200-inch amplifier. Well, I think it's a Swan transceiver and a, a Swan amplifier also. Oh, okay. Now he's running a Swan 270B. Oh, a 270B. Yeah, that makes sense. Jay, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, we may be about to do ourselves in here with this noise, K5LYN. 
Yeah, it might be a little. <laughs> it's getting it's getting rougher and rougher. I'm gonna have to check the radar in a little bit. All right, folks, this is the Boat Anchors Unlimited. We've had a good run this evening. We've been on almost an hour, and uh, most people are sounding good. Band's going away. So, is there anybody we've missed yet that would like to check in? Come now, please. K5 Sierra Alpha Charlie. Sierra Alpha Charlie. Go ahead, sir. Hello there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lynn and uh, the Jim. I didn't get to who all was in here tonight. I hadn't checked in in ages. I just thought I'd fire up tonight. I'm copying you two guys good, but you're right. The noise is about to, to get the best of us. Uh, this is Norman, N-O-R-M-A-N. I'm in Nederland, Texas, just south of Beaumont, running an old KWM2 uh, wing emblem that I bought back in about 68, I guess, uh, when I was uh, working for the company. It was about three-year-old radio then, I think, and then uh, it picked up a, a 30L1 to match with it, uh, another wing emblem, and the 312B4, and that consists of the station here, the old nostalgia station, D104 mic. So uh, whoever was, was it Lynn or, or Jim? Go ahead. Okay. Now, this is Jay, Juliet Alpha Yankee. I'm about 300 and something miles from you. I'm in Alice, Texas. It's just, just west of Corpus. And you sound absolutely great on that uh, KWM, too. It's working like everything it's supposed to. Do you have the uh, PM2 power supply, or do you have the 516F2? Neither. I homebrewed a uh, solid state supply. I went down to the TV supply store and bought the biggest uh, big old transformer I could for TV type replacement put out just the right voltage I'm getting about a thousand on the plate and about uh, I'm thinking about 275 on the B plus usually those uh, uh, three was it, uh, the five shoes. anyway the uh, the one that comes with the car and can't think of the number they put out too much voltage on this modern line voltage so I decided to build one on my own, runs cool as a cucumber, and had it for all these years. Jay, I have a question for you. Sure, go ahead, Lynn. Yeah, did you, did you do something to stabilize the uh, low voltage, like the, the 275, or, or is that a, a tap off the transformer, or how'd you do that? It's working great. I did it with a choke. Let's see, I used a capacitor filter for the high voltage, and then I came off that, I believe, that center tap with a choke for the uh, low voltage. It just happened to fall right in place. Choke input filter. All right. Well, you did nice work. Well, thank you. I, I've enjoyed this thing, and like I said, it runs real cool. Those five, what is it, 516 F2s, they run hotter than a shot pistol, so I didn't want that, so I built my own. Okay, one other thing. Did you put a relay so that the on-off switch on your Collins doesn't turn the whole supply on and off so you get that voltage, they get that current off that on-off switch? I don't believe I did that. I think I'm using the switch, and that's probably a mistake. One of these days it's going to cost me. Yeah, use an outlet strip or something to turn it on. You'll solve that problem. <laughs> that's the easy way to do it. Uh, there is a, a recommended uh, modification put a relay, but you just leave it on and turn the, uh, the uh, you know the outlet strip on, and, and that'll fix it. Uh, that'll work. Back to you, Jay. Th thanks for letting me, buddy, in K5LYN. 73. You see y'all next week. Maybe it won't be so noisy. All right. Well, look forward to hearing you. That that's a beautiful sound of radio. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like Lynn said, those uh, those outlet slips are simple. Those switches are easy to replace if you have to. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you, Norman, for checking in. Is there anyone else that would like to check in? Any relays? I heard somebody out there. He's super light, and I couldn't copy him. Yeah, that, that was my problem. I didn't hear a soul. Well, sir, if, if you're hearing me well, um, or at all, <laughs> and we're, it's, it looks like we're going to have trouble picking you up this evening, we're here every Wednesday night at 7.30 Central Time, and uh, we do this all over again, so... Uh, don't hesitate to try to check in next week, and maybe then the band won't won't be so noisy. Um, are you about ready, Lynn? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think everybody's talked to me that, uh, that needs to talk to me. Why don't we give Rusty one last shot at it, but I'm ready to call it in a night. K5LYN, great net. Okay, yeah, it's been pretty good. Okay, Rusty, WK5R, this is KM5. QS saying 7-3 to everyone else and turn it to Rusty for the ribbon ceremony. <laughs> okay, Jay, KM5, QS, WK5R. And, and a matter of fact, uh, uh, Lynn, my boards for the uh, 516F2 have that mod in it already. So, all right. Okay. Hey, Rusty, a quick Who question. Who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited before I close the net come now? Quick question, Rusty. Do what? I have a quick question for you. Go ahead, Lynn. Okay, the fact that you've got that problem handled in the 516F2 board is super neat. Now, that bigger board that you were showing me, like if I want to power up a couple of 813s, I still need some kind of a step start relay outboard, don't I? Uh, it depends on where you want, Tanner. I, I don't have a step start in my own brute, but uh, I know there's not a step start on that board, but it is pretty universal. Okay, yeah, okay, that's kind of what I was thinking, because I'm probably going to be one of your customers. Okay, Rusty, wrap her up. <laughs> okay. All right, last call. Anybody left before we close the net? Come now. All right, I don't hear a soul. We thank all of you for checking in, because uh, uh, Lynn, Jay, and myself, we, uh, oh, a lot of us know what it takes to see old rig on the air and keep them going. So we'll look for you all next week. So this is WK5R. Now closing the Boat Anchors Unlimited net and returning the frequency to normal amateur view. WK5R clear.